So I bought myself a Bison tunnel cover for my F-150 with the 6.5 bed and it just arrived today and I have went to install it and I've realised that um, it's quite hard to, to see the instructions um, just because it's all black and white. The product itself looks really, really good but the instructions, uh, they're not, not so easy to follow. So I thought I would make a video for anyone else having the same problem. So the first part it says to go on is to put on the weather strip along the front. So what that means is, what I believe this means, don't hold me to this because I'm uh, figuring it out as I go, is this part this part here. Um, I did see another video that they had done, which is the only video I can find is how to put this on. And it, it says to sit it back closer to this side when you put the, uh, the weather strip on. This is a weather strip here. Sorry for the shaky video, I just decided to do this at the last minute. So that's the weather strip there. I've kept it dry because there's quite a lot of snow around my truck because I just put it in my garage. Excuse me. So what I've done is I've taken my heat gun and I've made sure that this is nice and dry because from past experience I've found that weather strip does not stick to the weather strip doesn't stick to wet surfaces very well so I've dried that all off and now I'm going to put the weather strip on. So that's the weather strip on and um, don't pull it too tight uh, as you're putting it on uh, just let it sort of sit down and push it down with your hand once it's on. Cut it nice and tight into there it's just what I've done. So for the drain pipe what I've done is I've put them in these little holes here which I think they're supposed to go right in the side there. I don't think it's necessary to have them the full length like that, so I might actually cut it off. I'll show you um, where that actually leads, just so you know where the water is going. Basically, that's where it leads to. You see that there? That's me just underneath my truck, so I don't really think it needs to be that long. I think it might actually rattle about if it's too long, so I'm going to cut that a little shorter. So where these clips, they go on this way, and they basically just clamp the rail to the truck and they have these little grips and you'll see on the actual rail you'll, you'll feel of your thumb is like bumpy bits which coincide with these bumpy bits here it's a bit of a pain to do it by yourself because you want to put a bit of pressure for the seal and then tighten it but it's a, it's a pretty good system it works well these clamps here are quite useful if you're working by yourself it just helps hold them on because when I was tightening the brackets up it just kept falling off so this is just a temporary thing while I get the brackets tightened up a little bit. So I've just cut these a little bit shorter because I really don't need them this long. So I'm just going to snip these short. So I have all the clamps on, equidistant. I could only put them in certain places because on my truck here it has these bits here that kind of stick out and the clamp won't fit in between them. So where they end up going is actually pretty good. So the next bit that it says to go on now is these clips. So I've threaded it through it and then I'll th thread this back through so that they'll be adjustable. And then the other part that this clips into will screw onto here so that this can clip into that to hold it on. So we have two different versions of these clips. So pay attention because it almost got me. They are slightly different and it's hard to make out in the picture because it's in black and white. So these ones here, there's some re-drilled holes there. And then these two holes at the back here are the, the more curved edged one, which will fit over here. So you'll notice here, these are the screws that come with it. So there's different ones here. So there's screws and there's actually mini bolts. So the mini bolts go in here. So these ones here, they go in the tunnel cover bit closest to the window. And then the ones, the threaded screw here, they go in the metal part. I'm gonna show you um, of the actual tunnel cover uh, plate. It does also come with four tiny little washers, which I'm sure are gonna be fun to put on. Okay, so the threaded screw goes in this one. And then the bolts that come with the long nut goes in these, this bit here. I don't recommend using a battery drill to put these in because I feel like you'll just strip them. I would just put them in by hand so you can feel the tension. So I've used the little black washers because it doesn't actually say on the instructions where I, I didn't see in the instructions um, for these ones here because they're exposed mostly to the elements. So I thought the black washer should go there. 
So these ones, they go on the underside right here. So they go in there. And then you put your clip on top of that and then you screw that in. I found it easier if you left this bit loose um, to put these on because you can hold it up and then hold your bolts in while you get your nuts. Okay, so we have these bolts here. So this rubber washer goes on to this. And then what it says on the instructions is what I believe is it then goes through here, which goes through the uh, plate that's on the uh, side bracket. So it goes in there like that. And then you want to put on your, uh, your lock washer and your washer. So what I did was I flipped it open so that I could get these on here. So you got the big washer and then you got the lock washer and that's so when you tighten it that it holds in place. I had a bit of a struggle with instructions whether the lock washer went on this part or on the next stage which is this part but um, my common sense makes me think, or well, hopefully I have common sense, makes me think it goes like this. So when you're tightening these up from underneath you need to put a bit of pressure on them or they'll just keep spinning. I found that I had to push down on it while turning it. It's a bit awkward but gets a really good seal. Came with these extra little pads here. Um, it says in the instructions to, to put them where the uh, cover comes in contact with the back of the truck. For me, my truck, that is right where the light is. So I've got one here. One, I'm going to put this other one over here because it doesn't actually touch the truck anywhere else because of the light anyway. Now for this part, basically this just screws into, there's a hole there, it's kind of self-explanatory. And then this bit can move up and down. And you can tighten it where you want it in position. So this is when you have it fully opened. And then you have the rod here. So the rod will then connect under here. This is what I'm figuring out because instructions don't really say. So I'm guessing that goes like that, clicks over there. And then you tighten it. And then that makes that solid. So when you're driving, it's not going to blow off. Don't quote me or hold me responsible for anything you do wrong. This is purely just how I put mine together. So if it doesn't work out for me, then I've probably done it wrong. But 